You having problems with the idle in your car or truck? Let's go fix it. What is up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to go over a Ford F-150 that will not idle, it won't run, or maybe you got a rough idle when you go to accelerate, you get hesitation, things like that. It's a real common problem. The motor in this one is a 4.9, inline six, but it works for just about all of them, even makes, models, or whatever. Today we're gonna to cover the IACV, or the idle air control valve, and then we're gonna go over the MAP sensor, or the manifold absolute pressure sensor, and finally, we're going to go over the mass airflow sensor, if you live in California. You got a couple people that are going to come help us today. Come on. All right, real quick, I'm going to start this up so you can hear it. You can hear how it idles. I got to keep giving it gas to keep it alive. And then we're going to go fix it. And it's all going to be good. Here we go. Before. First thing you're going to do is take off your IACV, or your idle air control valve. It's going to look like this. I wanted to show it to you first so you know what you're looking for. And then we'll go in and I'll show you where it's at, how to take it off. You find your intake system here. It'll go up into this part and then you'll have a clip here that'll come off. And then the two bolts on each side. And then that'll remove right off. Just like so. Now you want to take your carb and your choke cleaner and your part make sure you spray down in there get anything visible you can see out of there shake it up and uh drain it make sure it dries real good before we put it back we're going to take this part off here and clean what's in there Other thing you'll look for is that this rubber grommet right here is not compromised or damaged. The IACV could be your problem. Sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's not. It's either your mass airflow sensor or your MAP sensor. You only have a mass airflow sensor on these Fords if you live in California. If you live in any of the other 49 states, you got a MAP sensor. So in my case, it's going to be the MAP sensor. I'll show you where it is and how to put it on. You know what, I'm gonna put a diagram right here so you guys get all the vital locations for your truck, you can screenshot that. When you come up to your engine, you got your intake on the right, follow it over here, all the way over to the intake manifold. You have a line that shoots off and goes into your map sensor, which bolts right to the firewall right there. I've got the battery disconnected. I'm gonna take this apart, put on the new one, and hopefully that'll fix our problem. These map sensors cost about 60, 66 bucks online. Found a spot where you can get them for about $20, $22. I'll put the link right down here. Check it out. Can't beat that. Got the IACV back in and installed. Got the map sensor done, installed. It's time to jump on in there, try to fire it up, see what happens. First try, here we go. There you go, she's back. Hey guys, if you like the video, go to my channel, check it out. There's more videos there, more F-150 builds, more car builds, check them out. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check back because there's a lot more videos coming in the near future. Hey guys, take care, later, peace.